All right, fellas, it's time for the classic. Me and Doug here. We're back at Barron. Um, we got about no information on the lake. We haven't had a chance to get down here and fish and turn a light on so you can, can see us a little bit. There you go. Um, but we're gonna get down here, uh, get ready at the ramp, and we'll catch you there. See how many boats we got. Hopefully we got five or six at least, but uh, yeah, pretty eager to fish. We'll catch you there. All right, fellas. First spot of the day. No trolling motor. Well, I'm throwing a buzz bait. I got no trolling motor at the moment, so I'm about to go assess that problem. Hopefully it's just the breaker. Got nothing now. I gotta go turn the live scope on anyway, so. All right, well, I'm gonna work on this. He's gonna try to fish here. Hopefully we can get something going here pretty quick. I'm hitting the breaker. You got a button on the side of it or something? Does something. I mean, it does, but I've never hit it. <laughs> All right, we got it. Okay. All right, we're good now. Did it. Went back out. Did it? I'm telling you, there's something funky wrong with that trolling motor. Well, might not be able to use the live scope, but I'm going to turn it on. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're going to try to start fishing here. We'll see what happens. You turn it forward, you got nothing. It worked perfect a minute ago, because that's the way I got to the ramp. Well, it ain't now. That's pretty, yeah, that's pretty bad. Broke. Piece of garbage. It, ain't gonna rub it. it actually did last time. <laughs> did it now. It's working. I hit it one time, it started working. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna retie. Well, guys, I just sailed my buzz bait into the sunset. 60 pound braid broke on a backlash. Trolling motor is extremely intermittent. Doesn't want to work, so we got that going for us today. That looked like no bass I've ever seen. Tell you what, it did look like a jar. It's definitely lower than it was last time we were here. Must have been a little high last time we were here, I feel like. Not with the 75 degree water temp, it ain't. They just ain't here. See that carp jump 20 foot out of the water there? Carp and gar on this point, and that's about, or on this bank, and that's about it. I'll head on out off the flat here. They just ain't here. No point in wasting any more time. Alrighty, let's kick it on to the next spot. All right, guys, spot number two, we're gonna pray that this trolling motor still works. I've since lost my arrow at the top, so. I think she's working. Nope, we're dead. Dead in the water. You know what? Yep. It's pitiful. That's a hilarious conundrum that I can smack the top of my trolling motor and that's what gets it to start working. It's also how I broke my arrow off. I really truthfully just... You got one? Huh. What you got? Oh, it is a bass. Huh? <laughs> he's, big, he's a big boy, ain't he? <laughs> Congratulations, you caught a fish. That. Hell, that bait I got over is bigger than that. <laughs> I know it is. That bait is imitating him, actually. There's one. Yep, didn't even feel him. 
he he picked it up my line was literally like 10 feet to the right i just reeled up and set the hook nothing didn't even feel it you got him that goes in from out of the water sure did <laughs> it's a fish though he's about the same size as the other one yeah i think we're in the nursery i guess that's all i can catch today i can't catch nothing so congratulations See you, buddy. There, oh, that was bite. How'd I miss it? Don't know. Huh, getting bigger. They are getting bigger. I keep on the other day, I'm going to get the eight pounder. <laughs> well, I'm glad somebody's catching them. I just missed one, then he hooked up on that and immediately right after. So He's a decent little fish. He ain't nothing major, though. I wish he'd calm down. Oh, yeah. That was weird. I'm going to let him go. Okay. See you, buddy. One bait. I got one. Ah, uh, he's better than that one you just caught. My drag's loose. I think he'll keep. Nah, he probably won't. Maybe he will. He's close. He is close, but I don't think he'll keep. Oh, come here, Yeah, he ain't gonna be big enough. Well, there's a couple fish back here at least. He's worth a measure, I guess. You would be correct, probably. Yep, 14, just a little over 14, but the biggest one of the day so far. At least we're finally figuring something out. Drop shot's working. All right, now we just need to find some that are a lot bigger. You all right? Oh, I ain't. Oh, you already got another one? Yeah. I don't think that's a bass, is it? Bluegill? Uh, Catch a bluegill on a drop shot every time I come here. Oh, guys, it's one of those days. Trying to learn how to record again. See you, buddy. He was 10 inches. Little him. He blew up my drop shot. Yeah, we're trying to learn how to fish. We only got four hours left. I'm going to jump right over that bluff wall here in a minute. And fish it. Gotta try it. There ain't no size on this. There's some fish here. No size to them. I wanna I wanted to fish all those, but I can't even it's just not even worth doing. It's so shallow. It's only four foot right here. I think I'm about to jump over. Try it out. Yeah. Alright, I'm moving. I can't handle it. We gotta go somewhere else. Hey. All right, guys, we've jumped over to a bluff wall. There's a few up shallow on that, but they're all short. So figured we'd come over here and try something different. Try some deeper water, see if we can run into a big one or maybe even a spotted bass. We gonna fish down this little stretch, see what we can catch. Yeah, pulled right off. That felt a little heavier. Oh man. You get that too? Yep. So that was two bites in about 20 seconds there off this. I guess we'll go try it point with them rocks on it after us. I don't know. There was a bite, dropped it. There he is. That's a better fish. I think it's a catfish. It's big. 
but I don't think it's a bass. Oh, it's a big bass. It is a big bass. Yeah, that my keep. I got everything hung up, but I got it. Yeah. To bed. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if he ain't 15 inches, I'm going to the house. Leaving right now. That's a good one. Yeah. He's a good fish. It's just a possibility of it. He's strong. He's healthy too. He's nice and fat. Is he 15? By George, he's 16 and a half. Yeah, it's pretty good in there. He liked that drop shot. He wasn't right on it. I must say. Oh, alrighty. That makes me feel slightly better, guys. Maybe there is a few on this bluff. That's a pretty solid one. I mean, he's. You just have one? I mean, that was. That's two and a half pounder. He just got another bite. That's two or three bites down this. Maybe they are on some bluff walls. If he's a spot, he might keep. Here's a spot. Yeah, that's a spot. That'll keep. Is that a spot? Yeah, that's a spot. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'll keep. Yeah. Sure enough. He's yeah. 12. Well, he's got rust back on his tongue. Oh, Lord. Ain't no way. <laughs> Switch me rods, and I'll do some doctoring. Half pound. I think we need to fish buff walls, Bill. <laughs> I hate to fish them. I really do. I hate them. That's the only way you can catch them. It's the only way you can catch them. All right, I got him out. I'd rather fish somewhere I hate to fish and fish somewhere I like to fish, not fish nothing. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, he keeps, but it ain't by much. Touching here. Look at there, it's touching. Once again, I say he's touching. Oh, he's passed. And he's passed. He ain't real big, but it's keeper. Two keepers. See if we can catch three more. We got time. We got three and a half hours. So, like I say, he ain't a giant, but he measures spots. I would have started right where me and Kodi was catching them the other day. There's a bite. Might be. Yeah, I'll tell you, keep. It'd be close. I think we're finally on to something. I don't know if he'll keep or not. He's decent. Yeah, but we're finally on to something. That means a lot right there. It does. Be 15, baby. He ain't. 14 and a half, 14 and a quarter. Well, another fish though. He ain't quite big enough. Thanks for letting me catch you, buddy. I'll see you. I think we're figuring something out. Feel a heck of a lot better than I did 30 minutes ago. <laughs> That's for sure. Ooh, there's a fish. <laughs> Good? Yep. I don't get no trail about it. I don't know if it'll be 15 or not either, but nope, largey. I ain't catching them spots. I don't think he'll keep either. He might though. It's worth a measure. I think maybe 
Yeah, I'd say he's about 13 and a half. He's a little shorter than that last one I caught. Yep, 13 and a half. Well, solid fish. Super healthy, but all right, we'll see you, buddy. It is. All righty. Well, that was a pretty good spot for us there now. Now if we can just go replicate. There's a bunch more bluff. <laughs> it is. All right, guys. We moved to a different bluff. We kind of ran that one dry there. Went all the way down it. So I think we might have maybe figured something out. So we're going to stick to bluff here for at least a little bit. See if we can fill out a limit. Even if it's just spots right now, that'd be lovely. On the scan. Either right on the bottom or damn close to it. Yep. I say, now, a lot of people don't. They think this is all catfish down. Oh, Lord. I do. He came off. It was a spot, but he definitely wasn't 12 inches. He was way out there. Oh, really? Mm hmm. He wasn't real big, but his fish. Not real big enough, though. Or how the old YouTube video's doing, I ain't even checked yet. Yep. Yep. There we go. Oh yes, yep. that's a good. One. That's a good. One. Oh gosh. Two and a half pound. Yep, about the same as that other one, probably. Yeah, that's a solid one there. <laughs> I've got one pack of them. <laughs> Cause I bought them yesterday. Minus one. <laughs> That's a good one. He's actually probably a little better than that first one I caught. Do what? All right, guys. I was sitting there about to check how the newest youtube video is doing that fish didn't want to allow me to do that but uh since i'm talking about it guys i'll link it in the description if y'all want to go check it out it's a tournament win at taylorsville with doug <coughs> we didn't catch a lot but we had a good day we won that's the main thing we did win dang i didn't think i was recording well guys i just caught fish number four smallest keeper i put in the box but he's still about 16 inches just in case i didn't get it on film uh pretty solid fish they're really liking that color so i'm gonna retie doug's drop shot here for him let him use my rod for a minute and get him situated with what i'm catching them on yeah so i thought they burning my ass <laughs> <laughs> they're definitely eating it so i think we figure something out we need one more for a limit and then we got to work on trying to cull out that little beast spot but like i always say I'm all ready to pull, but I'm not the one. <laughs> <laughs> by a small fish, you get bit by this. One. Yeah, it is seeming that way. Yeah. I should have bought two packs of them, I guess. <laughs> I was trying to not spend too much money, though. You know how it is. Save my luck, goes. I'll pay for that. Whew. All righty. There you are. I'll switch off with you. He said, I'm fishing this cast out. <laughs> well, guys, while I'm here, let me show you what I just caught, just in case. Like I say, it's quite a bit smaller, but nice 16 inch or super fat and healthy. Every one we've caught has been nice and healthy. So we got a decent little bag going here, playing with it.
He's staying down, which usually means it's probably a decent one. He's a spot. That is a spot. Yep, that's a spot. That's the limit. <laughs> Come off in the boat. Hey, that's that's a pretty good spot there. Like an, I don't even have to bump that one. So there's a limit. We have a limit. Well, I know which one needs to go first. After that, I guess it'd be this one, wouldn't it? That ain't a bad spot there. I mean, that's that's a solid keeper spot. Yeah, he's easy keeper too. He's like 12 and a quarter, 12 and a half. He's fat. It very well might have. So when they splash me with that, please release me right in my face. I'd say with his scale, we'd probably ride out about 10. If we'd cull out them two spots, we'd be setting pretty good, I think. And we got plenty of time. Got two and a half hours. We got to count the bait, and we're on the pattern. We are. It is the bait they want. It's slow and painstaking. There was a bite. He dropped it. Shit, I don't care if it's slow. I like this and slow. Another spot. I don't know. He might call that other one out. It's a spot. Yeah. He'll call that other one. I'm almost certain. He picked this like a damn bluegill does. Did he? Yep. I think he'll call that first one. I think he'll call that one, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm gonna look at it at least. Let me get this net unhung here real quick. And then I'll take him from you. Ain't much. I don't think you realize how little that first one you caught was. I think it'll be close. I mean, they're, they're real close. This is the one you caught this morning. That's the one you just caught. They're real close. Like, I'm going to have to look into it. All right. The one you just caught. He is indeed 12 inches. The one you caught this morning is indeed... 12 inches they're both cookie cutters so we're just gonna have to put them on the bump bar and go from there ready here you go what do you think that one by like i think that one by like a tenth of an ounce yeah yeah he's heavy okay uh, that was a cold then well here's the one for miss morning see you buddy i told him to let this big brother box I was going to say, I was hoping he's a little bigger than that myself. But, hey, Cole, tenth of an ounce might make a difference, guys. All right. Well, very, very minute Cole, but Cole nonetheless. He might weigh 0 0.05 pounds more than that other one did, but we'll take it. That's fine. We still got two hours. Try to get rid of it. I didn't know what it was. I took it back up there. Eighty two days I don't know what it was. Not anything like I've been catching. I got him. Spot. Smaller than them ones you got. Yeah, that's a little mink. Look at him. Yeah, that's what it is. Hey buddy, you want a bass?
You slow down, I'll give you something to eat. He ain't, is he? You want this? He stopped looking at us. Yeah, that one ain't gonna help us. He's capped out now, but yeah, 32 an hour. There's a bite. Good. Might be. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Uh, wherever he wants to go right now. Yeah. That helps. That helps. A lot. Yep. Oh, sorry. It's killing me. Son, he's got me all messed up. You can just lay it down. I'll get to it. Heck yeah. That's the first bite I've had that was solid in a while. Why are you bleeding? I'll tell you what though, I don't know if he's 15. I hope he is. Oh yeah. yeah he's almost 16. That's heck of a call. Tell you what, I can't complain with that. Look at that. That's heck of a cull. All righty, we're gonna let Doug's Lidlin go here. God, they're mad. Dang, I wasn't even recording. He's got another one. If that's a spot, it'll call that other spot out. Now, nope, Largy, he ain't gonna help, but it's another fish. They're on this, man. We just, we had to find another spot they were on. They're on that real steep rock. They aren't, we devised well now you mess with that chunky stuff. Nope. See you, buddy. All right, guys. Another good little flurry there. Another good cool. A worm ain't gonna last much longer. That's fine, I got more. I, I, I ain't got many, but I, I got more. use that son of a gun until I can't get him back on the hook. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much what I've been doing today. But, yeah, they're, they're feeding well on this. Something we've learned, man. This is uh, this isn't a real deep bank here, but you can look on this scope. It's real, real steep. And there's no, like, breaks in it. It's not chunky at all. It's just straight bluff cliff. We was on that broken up stuff earlier, man. They weren't on it. Oh, they were on... They were on this steep stuff. So and little bitty spots was on it. Yep, we caught a couple spots on it, but the large mouth are on this stuff. We can just get one more. We can get a good kicker. I feel pretty good, but we got time. We still got an hour and a half. I'm just calling it good. I missed one right there. I was gonna say I thought I saw your line kind of doing something funny. Uh, that's why. I uh, he only had the back end of it. Yeah. Bit the whole worm off. That was on the back going. Probably spotted bass, bass yeah. yeah. Little old spot. Taking it like a bluegill. <laughs> that worm didn't last long. Sure didn't. I had that bother him forever. Yep. Well, guys, I missed it. Doug just hooked a pretty good one. I had to put the GoPro in the cooler for a minute. It got too hot. But he just hooked a pretty good one, we think. It went down there and got him hung up in something here. I think it's already off, but. Yeah, ain't no fish on there anymore. No i have to break it. So you can bend down farther than I can. That's a good fish there, deal. I'm unfortunate it got off. Got he him not, hung up. He won't buy it again. I felt him good. I was going to say, you had him hooked for a minute. Enough yeah. time for me to turn around and get the net. Oh, I could feel him doing that. And I know there wasn't no lilling. When you feel that, it ain't mm -hmm. no lilling. Yeah. Start uh, feeling them head shakes. That's fine. Just go out there and get another one. They're in here. They're biting. That's two back to back. There's one. I don't think so. Can't really tell yet, but. Nah, he's little. Spot. That ain't even a keeper spot.
another fish. See you, buddy. All right, fellas. GoPro overheated again. We didn't stay on that spot, but about two or three more minutes. The bank got super, super steep, like sheer cliff, and they just, they weren't on it. So we moved something that's got, you know, bluff, but it's got a little bit more of a taper to it. So we're gonna hope if we could call out that one spot in the next hour, that would be amazing. We got about 50 minutes, so we're gonna see if we can make it happen. I saw that one, son. He's digging. I don't know how big he is, but he's digging. I don't think he'll keep. Mm. It's gonna be close. He's a spot, though. Yeah, he is a spot. Yeah, he'll call. <laughs> I bet. I bet he'll call. You really sick. I just broke my jig off. He just got done eating my crawdad. He sure did, didn't he? It fell in his mouth. <laughs> well, I just broke my jig off. Put it in there. Yeah. There you go. I'm pretty sure he'll call. It might be a little closer than I'm thinking it is, but. I don't know, man. They're close. It might cool. Try to put it on the beam. Did he? That's fine. We got enough to last an hour. Calm down. Stop it. This one. Nope. It was not a coal. It was a good keeper though. I thought you had one there for a minute for us. All right, well, no keeper or not a coal at least, but we are gonna let that one back go. See you, honey. Well guys, he caught one there. Thought we had another coal. Not quite. I broke a jig off, so I put one on. That spot had a big crawl on its mouth, so I put a crawdad pattern jig on. And I'm probably gonna stick with it for next 30 minutes here and just hopefully a bigger one once it. Be a good little spot. You ain't gonna call it. New. He ain't. You know what? I caught one on the last cast. You did catch one on the last cast. <laughs> yeah, about that. There you go. What is he, about 10 inches? Hey, right, we'll take it though. Another fish. Alrighty. That's my last cast. We gonna let old Doug's go, and then we gonna head to the ramp, see what happens at weigh-in. Regardless of how it ends up, I think me and him are both pretty proud of the day. We had a lot of trouble this morning. Trolling motor not working, big motor not starting. Didn't have a bite for the first hour and a half when we came in, cold twice, have a good solid limit. May not win, but hey, we'll take it. Well, I guess we better weigh them in, huh? Open the live well for me, please. I can get done tied. I know that ain't one of the bigger ones. Nope, there's a little spot. I gotta try to figure out what's the biggest one here. It's 
they're locked. That one's bigger. I got some big Um They're so close, I might have to beam them. That one for sure, I think, here. That one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Come here, baby. You ready? All right. I can read that. All right. Big. Big. Yeah, what? Did I not give it back? Two eight five. That's a big one. Yep. What's wrong with that? Yeah, we're good on that. I think that's the smallest largemouth I got. Davis is killing it right now. I don't want to hear that. Thanks, uh, fish with dynamite. <laughs> and then. Uh, he was 12. He was 12. He was wiring me out. Barely. He makes it. <laughs> Pretty good little bag. Not too bad. I wouldn't with such a 10 foot pole betting. My buddy's like, you put my fuck, no, I ain't touching that game. We could win by 15, we could beat by 30. I, I don't know. You're right. You play football, man. I mean, I've learned my lesson. 1048. 1048. What do you got? 1048. Yeah. 325. What'd you have? 285. So that's big. That's good. That's a good fish. Three, two, five. That's a good fish. Oh, that's good. He might be big. That's a good one too. Thanks, I think he got me a little bit. Does he have a spot? He does have one spot. I don't know if it can be smaller than one of yours. It could be thinner. It can be thinner. Probably after this. Oh yeah, he's playing. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. he's he's plenty yeah. bigger. He's bigger than that one. Oh, he got. It. Is that five? Uh, are you sure? I thought it was, I thought four. It was four. I could have swore I was four. Oh man, I'm gonna cheat myself. Thanks. I was gonna say so. I only carried four. Where did those? Yeah, he's in there. Yeah, he's in there. Come here, don't close. That's a spot. Oh, you have two spots. Okay, might be close. I almost made it out. <laughs> I was like, wait, whoa. I ain't gonna cheat him. What was yours? 1048. I had no idea. He's a close. 1075. Good bag. Oh, oh man. <laughs> I, told you. I knew it was close. He pulled out that second spot. I was like, it's gonna be a little closer than I thought it was gonna be. Mm -hmm. We were at one off. He lost one he we think is probably about three pounder. Took him underneath a log, uh, log and just hung him up. I had to do that, and he's like, "Oh, you're just stuck in a tree." And he's like, I "Broke it off." I'm like, "I'm pretty sure there was a fish." And he's like, "No." Angler of the Year award goes to Cody. Ah, what what did you say on the email? By, by your what? Hair of the chinny chin chin. 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 <laughs> no. uh, yeah, about hairy chin. Hair on his chin. <laughs> hair on his chin. <laughs> yeah, close we enough. We gotta give you that. Yeah, that's close yeah. enough. <laughs> Bass Addicts Classic winner. Unfortunately, we we scraped out the bottom of the What's barrel and ended up, ended up winning it. A couple of hell of a bags. <laughs> Don't what? say unfortunately, say hell yeah, we did. Uh, hell but, yeah, you know. we did. Good job. <laughs> Thanks. Nice bag. Yeah. Nice bag, everybody. Both of you. Sure. 
Excellent bags. Yeah, anybody? Yeah, I gotta have it. 1075, I think. 1075. Yep. 1075. Mm -hmm. And Big Fish? 325. It's 325. Me and Amanda. There you go. You did it, Good job, guys. Good job. I appreciate it. We did. We did. We pulled a good one. It is the one to win. Thank you, Cass. I don't know who in the hell pulled uh, Aaron out of the hat, but he needs his ass kicked. He needs. Hey, I did fine. Yeah. Who pulled it? He did. Oh, thank you. Are you not so open I, pulled one. I don't oh, care yeah. if he I don't care if he did good or not. I didn't, so I still kicked him in the ass. It don't matter. All right, fellas. Pretty good day. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hate on it too much. We uh we figured him out. Took us a while. Um, didn't have anything the first two hours. It was awful. It was pretty bad. We figured them out, catching them in like 20 foot of water on drop shots. And the guy at one tournament doing something completely different. He beat us by a quarter of a pound. Shout out to Mike, good bag. Can't really complain. Wish we'd won it, but it is what it is. We had one chance that we think maybe we'd had one more that would have culled out. Probably would have done it for us, but eh, it happens, man. It does. So, uh, yeah, I want to thank you all for uh, following along the series this year. Of course, there'll be another one next year. Uh, I'll probably do another video here pretty soon, just a post wrap up of the season and give you all kind of an overarching plot of everything. But uh, yeah, with that being said, we'll see you next time. Peace.